While you're waiting to get your hands on Halo Infinite, why not check out Halo Combat Evolved and the other 863 games in the original Xbox library through emulation? In this video, you'll get everything you need step by step and all the resources you need to learn how to play Xbox games on PC using the XMU emulator. Get ready for an incredible gaming experience on your PC because we're starting now. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to become part of the conversation. And check the video description for the links featured in the video and the latest show notes and updates. The first step in the process is to grab the emulator itself. It's hosted on the xmu.app website and I have this link for you in the description below. Along with the PC version, there's also a Mac and a Linux distribution for this. Click the download button and click Windows X64 version here. You also need some key BIOS and hard drive files, and these are readily available at the Emulation Files section of the Game Tech Wiki. I also have this site link for you in the description below. The easiest way to get to the Xbox section is to scroll down through the table of contents until you see Microsoft. Directly underneath that, you'll find the Xbox section. Click that link in the table of contents and you'll be directed right down to the Xbox section. There are two files you need to download from here. The first one is going to be the BIOS files. The easiest way to grab this stuff is just right click on it and open it in a new tab. This one's on a separate download page, but the hard drive image file you need, if you right click and select open in a new tab, it will just straight up download it right off of this page for you. And the BIOS files are hosted here on this media file page. Just navigate to the blue download button and click it to grab the BIOS files shown here. In the downloads folder, you'll have three compressed files, and I also have a game to run, which is going to be Halo Combat Evolved. Your games must be in .iso format to work correctly. You'll need to extract all three of the zip files you downloaded. As you go along and extract each of these files, you can delete the zip file out of your downloads folder. This is going to save space on your hard drive and also eliminate clutter from your downloads folder moving forward. Let's launch the emulator for the first time and configure the settings. Go into the XMU folder that you downloaded and double click. And inside that folder you'll find the executable for XMU. Double click on it to launch it. And if you see this message, right underneath the top text, click on the more info link. And in the bottom right corner you'll see a new option for run anyway. Click that to run XMU for the first time. Regardless of whether you get a settings button or an OK button, just click on it at this point so that we can set up settings inside the emulator. If you're not already in the settings menu, navigate in the top menu to machine and click on it. Then from the list of choices, scroll down to settings and click on it. Let's go through each of these one by one to show you exactly what to set up and where. For flash BIOS file, click on browse. Navigate to the subfolder inside your downloads folder called Xbox BIOS and double click into it. You'll need to select a BIOS file from here. From my research and testing, I found that one of the ones that works really well in this circumstance is called Xbox 4627 Debug. Locate this file and double click on it to select it. The next setting is for MCPX Boot ROM File. Click on Browse to locate this file. It's actually going to be in the exact same folder you were just in. The MCPX version 1.0 boot file has proven to be very reliable with this emulator. Locate that file and double click on it. Next setting is the hard disk image file. Again, navigate to browse and click on browse. Navigate to your downloads folder. You'll find that folder in there that you downloaded that has the Xbox hard drive image. It's the one that has the word QCAL in it. Kind of a funny name, but that's how those images are named. Go into that folder and double click the file that you find inside that folder. And finally, the setting for EEPROM is taken care of automatically by the emulator. You'll need to save your changes for them to take effect. Scroll down to the box in the bottom right corner and click on the Save button to continue. For your settings changes to take effect, you'll need to restart the emulator. Just close down the emulator and relaunch it in exactly the same way that you did before. Just open up the folder in File Explorer and double click on the icon to restart the emulator but this time you'll see that it actually starts the Xbox glob. So if you've got this far, you've configured the emulator correctly and you are ready to launch a game. But to maximize your gameplay experience, you might want to consider plugging in either a USB controller or connecting a Bluetooth wireless controller, but you can use the keyboard. To launch your game, click on Machine, come down to Load Disk and click on it. Navigate to the location where you have your ISO formatted Xbox game. In this case, I have it in the Downloads folder. 
Locate the ISO-based game that you want to launch and double-click on it. This inserts the virtual disk into the emulator, but unlike a real Xbox, it will not start automatically reading the disk. Click on Machine, then click on Reset to restart the emulator. If you want to use a wired or wireless controller with the emulator, you'll need to tell it that you intend to do that. First, go to Machine and click on it. Then come down to Input and click on it. There's an Input drop-down menu and it's right here. Either click Keyboard or if you intend to use a controller, come down to X Input and select that from the list of choices. Close out the controller settings and the changes will take effect. But don't stop there, let's put the final piece of polish on. Click on View and scroll down in the list of choices to Full Screen and click on it. Now that you know how to play Xbox games on your PC, check out this video shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below for more great content.